Hello and welcome to my channel, Fight for the Sky. This is a poem by Edgar Lee Masters who lived from 1868 to 1950, titled Cities of the Plain. Where are the Kabbalists, the insidious committees, the panders who betray the idiot cities? For miles and miles toward the prairie sprawled, ignorant, soulless, rich, smothered in fumes of pitch, rooms of mahogany and tall skyscrapers, See the unfolding and the folding up of ring-clipped papers and letters which keep drugged the public cup. The walls hear whispers and the semitones of voices in the corner over telephones, muffled by Persian padding gemmed with brass spittoons. Butts of cigars are on the glass-topped table and through the smoke, Gracing the furtive Babel, the bishop's picture blesses the pigaroons who start or stop the life of millions moving. Unconscious of obedience, the plastic, yielders to satanic and dynastic, hands of reproaching and approving. Here come knights armed, but with their arms concealed and rubber healed. Here priests in wavering want are charmed, and shadows fall here like the sharks, in messages received or sent. Signals are flying from the battlement, and every president of rail, gas, coal, and oil, the parks. The receipt of custom knows without a look, their meaning as the code is in no book. The treasonous cracksmen of the city's wealth watch for the flags of stealth. Acres of coal lie fenced along the tracks. Tracks ribbon the streets and beneath the streets. Wires for voices fire, thwart the plebiscites and choke the councils and symposiacs of dreamers who have pity for the backs that bear and bleed. All things are theirs, tracks, wires, streets, and coal. The church's creed, the city's soul. The city's sea-girt loveliness, the merciless and meretricious press. Far up in a watchtower where the news is printed, gray faces and bright eyes, weary and cynical, discuss fresh wonders of the old cabal, but nothing of its work in type is hinted. Taxes are high. The mentors of the town must keep their taxes down. On buildings, presses, stocks, in gas, oil, coal, and docks, the mahogany rooms conceal a Spider-Man who holds the taxing bodies through the church. And knights with arms concealed, the mentors search. The Spider-Man, the master publican, and for his friendship silence keep, letting him herd the populace like sheep. For self and for the insatiable desires of coal and tracks and wires. Pick judges, legislators, and tax gatherers, or name his favorites whom they name the slick and sinistral servitors of the cabal. For praise which seems the equivalent of fame, giving to the delicate-handed crackers of priceless safes the spiritual slackers. The flash and thunder of front pages and the gold millions stare and fling their wages where they are bidden, helpless and emasculate. And the unilluminate, whose brows are brass, who weep on every Sabbath day. For Jesus riding on an ass, scarce know 
the ass is bay. Now ridden by his effigy, the publican with Jesus' painted mask, along a way where fumes of odorless gas first spur, then fell them from the task. Through the parade runs swift the psychic cackle, like thorns beneath a boiling pot that crackle. And the angels say to Yahweh looking down from the alabaster railing on the town, Oh, cackle, 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 crack and crack. We wish we had our little Sodom back.